So I thought I'd do like a little mini haul of like what I've got. Um, there's, there's actually some pretty good stuff in there, and um, you will like my um, pets at home videos anyway. So I just thought I'd just do like a quick, like five minute video. Um, I've got um, so, go, some other news as well. I'm gonna be going um, back into Blackpool this weekend. Um, so there may be another like Primark type haul thing. Uh, like another like little Primark haul like video um this week um possibly possibly in the start of next week so yeah here we go with the little pets at home um mini so the 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 reason why I needed to go to pets at home was because um I need some wood shavings some proper wood shavings so um I got this one that is um, actual old control. Dust extracted and uh, biodegradable, which is basically 100% recyclable. Um, <coughs> but as you can see, the Hot Belgians one there, I did, I did um, send a direct message to their Twitter page saying that you know it has big, massive clump, clumps of wood in it, and I didn't really want massive clumps of wood in the wood here. And so I got this one, with, this one from Pets at Home because I know it's like really re refined and cut really well and um, this cost me three pound fifty i'll put the prices on the screen so you, you can see it um this cost me three pound fifty it is really good and um, they also had a, a lemon scented one and a lavender scented one but i just wanted, wanted to get this one um because it, like, it was a little bit cheaper than the others and um it's on last i'll obviously still use that one but be very cautious of it but i'll probably use this one next because um, it's really really good um, and it is for all of those um, selected things so you've got your rabbit wolf hamster gerald guinea pig uh, what is that a digu whatever that is a mouse um, a ferret and so in hamster and rabbit um, and also you got the dwarf hamster down there so that's the the second thing I got was this sawdust um, I already have some under there, as you can see there. Um, it is really, really soft. It's like it's basically like sand this stuff. Um, and as you can see, um, it tells you what that is. But it tells you this one's also not for dwarf homes, but you can get it for like, any sort of pet really, because um, it is like a absorbent, warm and cozy in there. Uh, by degree, but it's not recyclable, but it's really refined, it's like sand, this stuff. Um, so, I like to use this on the cage to, to pop over the top of the wood shavings, so that is nice and comfortable. And um, like, there's no sharp bits, especially from the home bell, and there's no sharp bits coming through the wood, the wood shavings. So, um, I got this one, uh, which is really, really good, and uh, yeah, so that's the, the third thing that I got was this little small uh, lookout ledge. Um, I thought, why not get it? Because I can screw it onto the side of the cage, and you know, you can sit on it and can put a few treats on it. And he does like to sort of like sniff and, and like climb up his side of his cage. So I've got this, and now it's got the um, little focus. There we go. Um, all the like. Encourages natural behaviour, fits most wide homes, um, acts as an extra dimension to your pet's home, and I've already tried it on the bars, I mean it fits perfectly in the bars. Um, then I would say you've got the back of it as well. Um, I have opened it, it is pretty big. Um, let's see if I can open it on camera now. Which side was it? 
What's this side? It's not that side, I was trying to roll it that side, but... Um, let's see if we can try and open it with one hand this way. Yeah, well, I did get it out of the box. Um, it's just this thing, so you have the screws there, which obviously clamp onto the side of the, side of the cage. This bit, this bit here, does unscrew and then you've got the support puzzles there. And then it's just like, um, just like wood that you can come to and sit on and it's going to be like perfect. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet, but I'll find a place to put it. But it's going to be like perfect for him to sit on and um, also like do treat, put his treats on and stuff like that. Next thing that I got, well, I had to put the food before this, but um, no, yeah, I got this before the food. It's just this little tube tube uh, board and breaker, which I was, uh, so it's just like a plain tube now. I had these for my other hamsters and they really like them, especially for like sleeping and stuff like that, because um, once it's in the cage, you can cover it up with wood shavings and um, then they can also go inside it. There's enough room for a dwarf hamster in there, no problem. So you're gonna, you can also go inside it and then it's obviously got these little stripes. You can uh, you can get Christmas ones of these when the Christmas rain comes out. And obviously it's Rosewood as well, which is a really, really good company for um, like stuff like this, like wood, like chew toys and stuff for hamsters. Um, I also get my little ramp as well, but I thought I'll get in this instead so I can put it under the wood shavings and there's got somewhere that has to sleep if he wants to use it. But I think I'm more than likely to use this. Something that I got with these carrots. Um, they look really, really nutritional. And, um, like, because like, obviously, um, there, you can just about see it. Like, you've got the other, um, Jerbo rabbits and you have to dwarf hamster um, and different like you can get the mouse and the guinea pig as well. Um, it's like really really like nutritious and stuff for them, which is good. Um, also you've got your what it what it does on the feeding tips on the I feel focus. There we go. Um, you got your feeding tips and stuff on there, and then, um, obviously you like what's inside it, and uh, like that's like it's really nutritious for them and stuff. Uh, and the last thing that I got was this Harry Hamster mix, which obviously I've got another bag under there, uh, behind the wood shavings, another bag of it there, and then obviously I've got the boxes filled up with it as well. Um, it's really good this stuff. Um, make, I, I encourage anyone who has to do a hamster to get this stuff because my hamster certainly likes it. Um, it's got a bowl full of it there. Um, that's also your rosewood bowl as well. And then also you've got the um, nutritional side of it all there. But um, I highly recommend this. It's really good for hamsters. Um, as you can see, it's got like bits of dried sweet corn, nuts, peanuts in it, um, like biscuit types of things and vegetables and also it does encourage natural foraging as well which is also good for hamsters because they obviously need it because they're living in the wild and stuff so yeah that is the last thing this is a sort of over overview of what i got um as i said i only went in for like um wood shavings but sometimes you come out with more than two things so um i actually got an extra what was it for i needed food anyway as well originally also none of it more except wood shavings and food but I've got those two and the um uh, the lookout ledge as well had to to think there. But yeah that's a sort of overhaul and then I'll see I'm I'm gonna be putting the extra stuff inside this cage. Um hopefully I'll, I'll find a place to put it but yeah um that is the overhaul overhaul of the little hall overview of the little hall. So that is my um, pets at home over overview hall, well, mini hall. Um, yeah, as I said, I only went in for like a couple of things. Um, wood shavings because I wanted to go to pets at home, so wood shavings instead of home bargains because, um, the home bargains one has like a little massive clumps and there's the wood isn't like chopped up or like refined properly. So I just wanted to get a couple of things from pets at home, but you know, I go into pets at home. 
and come out with a few more things and everything plan to go into buy. So with that. Um then a little side note, um I'm gonna be going back into my local shopping centre um in Blackpool, which is next to the town LA. Um possibly go to Primark as well, get a couple of extra bits like because I do need some like candles and stuff for my desk and then the um like a couple more polo shirts so watch out for that little little, little video um possibly I'll, put, I'll probably edit it when I get home and then put it up for Sunday so you guys can check that out um I really appreciate your, your support and stuff um, I'm nearly at 30 subscribers so uh, three more to go um that's a big hit mark still for my channel at the moment to get 30 subscribers which I'll be very happy um and also with my pets at home and Primark Hall videos, um, I like doing them. So thanks, thanks for the support on those videos. I really, really do appreciate it. And yeah, um, stay safe. And um, hopefully see you. Well, I'll see you this weekend for a little mini Primark Hall video. Um, the stuff that I've got. Um, I do need like, a couple more candles and stuff for my desk. So like comment and subscribe down below and stay safe and i shall see you all in the next one cheerio folks